Some time ago I posed the question of whether liberal immigration spokesmen were born horrible or it was something in the job that turned them into slime bags. Well, we still can't answer that question, but the fact remains that that's the way they are. And there are three of them sitting on Tony Abbott's front bench as we speak. Philip Ruddick, the man who referred to a mentally and physically disturbed young child as it. Kevin Andrews, who perverted his own laws to persecute the Indian medico Hanif Muhammad. And of course, the current occupant, Scott Morrison, billed by some as leadership material, who had already distinguished himself by fighting vigorously against allowing asylum seekers to attend the funeral of their friends and compatriots after the Christmas Island tragedy. But this time Morrison has excelled himself. A couple of weeks ago, a crime was committed. An asylum seeker on a bridging visa committed a serious sexual assault against a young woman. OK, it was a nasty crime, but it was one offence from one person. Scott Morrison has decided to turn it into a holocaust. So he has decided that the answer is not only should we cancel all bridging visas forthwith, what we do with all the people that required in, to be incarcerated, we have no idea. Presumably they'd better get building concentration camps very quickly. But as well as that, if asylum seekers were to be released into the community, which he obviously felt was a pretty bad idea to begin with, then they should have to report regularly to the police, the police should be informed of their whereabouts, and everyone in the neighbourhood should be informed that these dreadful people were living amongst them. Now, this is really extraordinary stuff. In other words, Morrison suggests that asylum seekers, innocents who are not guilty of anything, have not been accused of anything, have not even been suspected of anything, should be treated in the same way as convicted pedophiles. A charming comparison, and when asked whether this was the intention in the Senate, um, Morrison's fellow scum sucker, Eric Abitz, said that he did not equate asylum seekers and pedophiles necessarily. A cringing lackey expunged the word necessarily from the official record, but Abetz's implication was quite clear. These people are appalling people. They're in the same classes as child molesters, as kitty fiddlers. You can't have them in the neighbourhood. You have to be warned. They're a danger to you and your children, to everybody else in the community. Get rid of the bastards. This was too much even for some in his own party. And a number of Liberals jacked up, saying that this was vilifying asylum seekers for base political purposes. How very true. But Tony Abbott's reaction was even more revealing. Asked what he thought of the comment, Tony Abbott replied, Well, we've got to stop the boats. Quack! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Quack! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Quack! Very enlightening. And this is the Tony Abbott who has these three baleful presences, Ruddock, Andrews and Morrison, crouched on his front bench like the Greek Furies, ready to tear us apart after September. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I'm Mungo McCallum.